Welcome to another month of my year 2017. We are here for the month of November and our prompt this month is gratitude. So this month, because it's November and next month is December and for most of the world, those are big holiday months no matter what holidays you celebrate. So I am going to very much lighten up the load of uh, videos I usually share with you all over in the Facebook group. Uh, I'm going to just do kind of one longer video instead of uh, like something every day. I may come on and do live chats or something, but right now at this point I only plan on having the one main video on Sunday, the one you're watching right now, and then I'll have a book review about halfway through the week. I may come on the last day of the week and do like I said a live chat, but it'll depend on you know the holidays and yeah stuff. Um, so, okay, so we're going to prep. This is my um, November signature, and I've been asked repeatedly about how I made these. There is a video in the Getting Started document in the Files section of the current group, My Year 2017. If you're watching this on YouTube and you aren't a pet member of that Facebook group and would like to be, there's a link in the description below. For 2018 and going forward, we're creating a new group. So the link for that group is also in the description below. Um, and the getting started video links, um, the document with all the video links it are in both groups, just FYI. Um, but it's just made out of file folders and I did these at the beginning of the year. So okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna tape in our book review list. So I'm just gonna use double-sided tape. Um, one of the things I've been trying to do all year is use up what I have. And this is all the stuff that was like stuffed in the back of my traveler's notebook. <laughs> Just, you know, because, you know, why not? Just to have a bunch of stuff crammed in the back. So, um, different like washi stickers and different tapes and, you know, I pick these up here and there. Some of these, obviously, if you know recognize them they're Jane Davenport stickers and things and I just you know I picked some of these up when I was at Creativation in um, the beginning of the year in Arizona and I love them but I'm not going to hoard them so we're going to use some of them here in the in the book and we're going to do a little little sketch tutorial too you actually get an art tutorial this month <laughs> rather than just watch me glue and paste things. Some months I think that's all I do for you guys. You're going to get bored. I can't get these... Okay, so one issue I have is it's hard to get these off the paper. I don't like that. I, I don't like how hard they are to get off. Um, I have these little sticky notes because, you know, I love me a good sticky note. So I think I want to put that there. I'm going to put this across the top of it. And this isn't done very cleanly, is it? Because <laughs> I'm messing it up. And my um, computer is might ding in the background. Because, of course, you know, I'm taping and chatting with folks at the same time. Of course I am. So this month's our theme is gratitude which is, I think, a great topic to discuss. And as I'm trying to use up a sheet of these washi stickers here, maybe you all can be thinking about when you hear the word, what does that mean to you? What do you think of when you hear that word? See, I don't like, these are gonna drive me crazy. Jane, you've gotta do something about these little sticker things, these are they're a pain to peel off. They're 
really. <sighs> Let's move on to something else because they're. Okay, I like this one. Everything is forgiven in the sketch. Start the art. I love word stickers. Take time to dream. Ain't that the truth? I want a couple more pieces of these, but they just, these are drive me crazy. Is it, is it just me, people? It's probably just me. User error. Right? But yeah, these are these are crazy. I'm gonna put one more and then that's it because they're they're making me insane. Alright. So just go through your section or sections of your journal. If you have a separate signature like I do, go through the signature, add some decoration to it until you're satisfied and happy. And I just noticed I have like nothing back here. So let's add something. Let's find another word. Here is another one. Put you in your art. I love that. Okay, crap. I'm going to go back to these stupid... Jane, I love you, but... I don't like these tapes. Okay, it's another reason to use them up. Is that, you know, if you've got something in your stash, for whatever reason you're not so crazy about it, let it go, use it up, sell it, or something. I mean, I love some of these because they've got some of her girls on them, some of her artwork, and I love to put artwork from other artists in my journal um, and to celebrate them in my journal, but I don't know. I maybe would get a roll instead of the washi stickers because these washi stickers are kind of making me insane. Okay, not kind of, they are making me insane. All right, now if you do put washi or stickers in your journal and you're worried about them not sticking, then put a little matte medium over the top of them and maybe even underneath them. These should stick okay, um, but we'll find out as I work with the journal. So now I want to do, I think right in the front here on the front page, um, our <clears throat> prompt is gratitude. And um, you know those little mini pumpkins you see all over the stores over the fall holidays? Um, picture a stack of them in your head of like five of them. I actually made some notes on my phone um, <laughs> of all things when I was um, in the parking lot of the grocery store. <laughs> I don't know. That's just when, you know, I don't know. So <laughs> I'm going to start with a bottom pumpkin. I'm going to zoom in here. There we go. I'm just using a black Bic crystal pen. Nothing fancy, nothing, you know, expensive or, you know, super hard to find or necessarily. Just use your, you know, whatever, you know, plain, um, ballpoint pen that you have. Use a, a, a black pen. I'm, I'm doing loose, messy, sketchy lines. I'm not doing anything um, super clean. And um, this is not erasable, so these are going to stay, right? So there's one. Then if you picture it in your head, with another like pumpkin sitting on top of it.
little smaller. We're going to keep it kind of loose and sketchy for the moment. Right? And then on top of that one, we're going to put another one. We're going to try to do five of them. So you can see I'm just making like wedge shapes or I don't know, half moon shape, not really a wedge, I guess. Half moon shapes. So these kind of curvy lines. Like I said, loose and sketchy. No two have to be the same. I try to make it so my pumpkin tower isn't leaning too much. <laughs> Just we have like an oval here, and then one, two, three, four, one more. You could take pictures of these pumpkins like the next time you're at the grocery store so you have a reference photo. I'm not working from a reference photo. I'm sure if you go to a website um, with royalty free photos like Paint My Photo, you can find a reference photo that will work for you. So now that we've got our basic um, pumpkins in a stack, I'm going to darken up some lines on this one up here. I'm going to sort of try to fill in you know add a stem add the other side of the pumpkin now if you're doing any sort of realism there would be a shadow from this one down onto this one there'd be a shadow cast right so we'll add a shadow darken your lines first you could do this in pencil if you're nervous about putting something in your journal in pen um, that you have to live with in there forever that you don't like so don't feel bad if you have to if you want to do that. That's fine. But I encourage you to just try it in pen. What's the worst that could happen? It's part of your creative journey um, to experiment, to try, to even make mistakes, own them, be happy with them, love them, fail with grace, right? Okay, that's pretty good. I want to grab my orange highlighter, my white gel pen. So we're going to add some white accents to the pumpkins. I'm doing the white pen first because there's a reason for that. Because this white gel pen will not write over the highlighter crayon. Right? 
then this is not going to show up a ton on this brown craft paper, but it will show up a little bit. Zoom out just a little bit so you can see. Whoops, that's the wrong way. There we go. So I'm going to add a little bit of the, it will show a little bit, it's just not going to show a ton. So I'm not going to try to color the whole pumpkins in, but I'm going to try to give each one of them a little bit of color. It is, hollow, it is um, Halloween. That was last month. It is fall after all. A lot. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to grab a scrap of paper. Do I want it to just be white paper? I think I might. Uh, I'm going to just take a little piece of this printer paper I printed book lists on. And I have four words, I mean, sorry, five words of gratitude that I want to put on each pumpkin. And as I write the words and put them on the pumpkins, we're going to talk about the words. Um, the words are breath. Hope, discovery, purpose, and love. Okay. So when you are working on your prompt for this month, and you're, you know, doing some of the obvious, what are you grateful for in your life? Of course, we're all grateful for friends and family, um, a roof over our heads, food on the table, right? And health if you can. Not all of us have that luxury of health, mental or physical. And some of us just aren't that lucky. So no matter what's going on in your life, good or bad, um, mental um, or physical pain, as long as you have breath in your body, you're breathing, right? Could always be worse. So our first pumpkin at the top is going to be breath. As long as you have breath in your body, there's hope. Right? So hope. And actually, I'm looking at that breath and it looks really big. Oh, I want to make it littler. So let's see. Let's write that littler. So long as you're breathing, so long as you have breath in your body, there's always hope for a better tomorrow, right? Always. There always is. So breath. So we're grateful that we have breath. And because of the breath, we're grateful that we have hope. Because of we have hope, we always have the opportunity to discover a better way, right? So discovery. Because we have the opportunity for discovery to discover a better way. I'm cleaning up my table a little bit. Wait a minute. Um, <laughs> we have the opportunity, the possibility of discovering our true or new purpose in life. Because we have breath in our body hope in our soul, discovery in our being, and purpose in life. We have the opportunity for love, love of ourselves, love of others, right? Love of friends and family. So when you go forward this month, 
thinking about and talking about the prompt of gratitude and working on it in your journal. Think a little bit outside the box of the norm than just creating a list and writing down those things that you're grateful for. Think a little bit broader than that, yeah? This is a really cute graphic. I'm very happy to start off my November section with this stack of pumpkins um, all in gratitude. And speaking of which, let's see. Let's write something up here. So, let's see. Okay, so isn't that the truth? There's always room for gratitude and being allowed to try another day. No matter how bad it is, there's got to be a bright spot in there somewhere. I hope there is for you. So go forward this month in gratitude. Draw some pumpkins in your journal at the very least. Uh, work on what each pumpkin should say uh, that you're grateful for in life and in art. And I hope that you all go out and have a fabulous holiday season. Check out the video description for links to the Facebook groups. Uh, there's a link to a site called Linktree down there. If you go there, you'll find every single place you can find me on the internet, all my stores, my website, everything. And um, my happy mail address is down there too. Most importantly, have a great day. Go out, make some art, be grateful, and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Thank you.